Are you looking to unlock the true power within you? To embrace your unique magic and radiate confidence in every aspect of your life? Step into a realm where your doubts and insecurities vanish like smoke in the wind? Who wouldn't want this? The Confidence Witch is here to guide you on a transformational journey like no other. Picture yourself as a sorceress, harnessing the energy of the universe to manifest your dream life. Embrace your unique talents and the full spectrum of your magic. Emma, the Confidence Witch, will help you align with the moon phases, unlock the secrets of the tarot and embrace the power of crystals for heightened intuition and guidance. Whether you're a seasoned practitioner like me or just starting to explore the world of witchcraft, Emma will tailor her guidance to suit your unique path. She knows that every witch's journey is different and will help you find your own way, connecting you to your inner witch and a circle of like-minded folks, crafting a personal practice that resonates with your soul. So are you ready to step into your power and embrace the magic that lies within you? Take the leap with the confidence witch. Visit her website at emmaandersoncoaching.com to learn more, unleash the witch within and let your spirit soar. Hello and welcome back to the Songs or Spells podcast presented by me, Carolyn King. And this week I have the wonderful Crash Face who are a punk hardcore duo from London. They are releasing their upcoming EP Prototype and a lot of their music comments on state of the world and the frustration that people face with the changes and injustice set out by leaders of the world. Their latest single No Hands is all about trusting your gut, having enough of control and keeping the joy in writing music because that's why we do it, right? So let's dive in. You've just played Download. How the hell was it? Yeah, it was wild. Honestly, like, I mean, the, the clash with Bloodywood was mental. It's a shame because I really wanted to see him. But yeah, like, still the tent was rammed. Mm. And it was, yeah, it was just a, a really humbling experience that people would come out after the hangover, the, the immense hangover they'd have from Metallica. So. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot of people actually ended up just going home, like, Sunday morning, like, before we even played, because they were just like, we're too hungover and it's too hot. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't be bothered anymore. I was like, oh, all right, sick. But no, the people that did show up, that they, they were they were troopers, man. And for our first time there, you know, don't think it could have gone much better. So yeah, it was great. No, absolutely, That's like people were waving their hands about, and you know, we had a couple of pits going and all that. So it was about as much as you'd ask for. Amazing, yeah, yeah. And did you go to download prior to that? Were you like regulars at download? I'd been for the day once before. Yeah, so um, yeah. But it was, it was just really good fun, and it's it's such a good festival. Like honestly, the 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 crowd there are just something else. You know, they're, they're just such fans of the music and such supporters of the scene, and people really let loose. Yeah, you know, they're just free to be themselves. That's fantastic. That's what a good festival should be, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to Wack in Germany? Oh, I would love to go to Wacken. I've seen, there was a YouTube video about five years ago of just like the biggest wall of death ever and it was at Wacken Open Air, so. It's so funny. There's this there's this vintage shop where my parents live in Hereford and every time I go back there, I do like a haul because I get like, <laughs> I get t-shirts there for like four quid. I got this there for like nice. four quid, it, It's just a like, really weirdly specific shop. It just has like the best metal merch, but, band merch I've ever seen for such a bargain. About 60% of the black t-shirts are Wacken t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep seeing them and I'm like, why is there so many German shirts over here? But I'm going to have to get one now. So You're going to have to play there? That is the universe telling you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And I really love the stuff that you've just released, the EP. And I love that you talk about trusting your gut in terms of what you do. So that begs the question, are you both quite spiritual? I mean, um, I'd, I'd like to say... I believe in ghosts. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, for, for, for me, it's, it's more just the sort of, like, I'm only aware of my own existence. Like, for, for all I know, nothing else actually is tangible mm. not not quite the simulation theory thing but like sure yeah just I, I don't know like i only really understand what's going on in my own head and you you yeah. i just believe that you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't go go with what you believed with yeah i i think that that point that we were making as well the trusting our gut it was more so directed at trusting your own gut over what other people yeah say you should do mm. but yeah, I mean, 
ghost, so I'm on board. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Have you seen a ghost? I, I haven't, I've never seen one, but the first pub I worked at had like, it was like notoriously haunted. And I remember like one of the first oh. weeks I was there, I was like, I was walking up the stairs from like the toilets downstairs and like we, we'd closed, so there was no one in there. And like, I just kept like, it just, it just, it just sounded like someone was walking like right behind me, but like no one was there. And then the one I'm at now, glasses fall off the shelf all the time. I don't Ooh. know. I'm used to that, but yeah, I, I've had my fair share of run-ins. Wow, that's so interesting. You should I know. Think about that, definitely. And it's all the pubs. Yeah. Yeah. Even you need to take care of, bro. Maybe. There you are. So it was really trusting your gut uh, against maybe people who are trying to shape you into other something else that maybe you don't vibe with. No, ab- absolutely. I think that is so bold and brave. Like in the music industry, I've had so many people on the podcast that have said that they've experienced the same thing. Yeah. Mm. And it's really about carving out your own control. So that's obviously really important to you. No, no, ab- absolutely. I mean, the, the the whole thing is like, you're, if you're the creative voice behind your music, you know, it's, I, I, I think only really you know w- what you should do with it taking other people's advice who aren't necessarily as involved in the project is just yeah i mean it, it, it kind of proved to prove to ourselves that we need to trust our gut more and it can be difficult as well with like mm. new bands and new artists because you can you can see other artists sort of similar and you see whatever doing quite well and like you can get these thoughts like oh maybe i should taper it to be slightly less this slightly more this Mm. but then the moment you start sacrificing like what you originally intended to you know create it like loses its sort of purpose so yeah it's yeah it's just about sticking to like you know what you want to do and not trying to change for like you know better Mm. spiritual terms that that means that it's way more aligned right and it's Mm. to resonate with the right people like you said those people at downloads who were like yeah (laughs) oh yeah yeah 100 it's just yeah it's about connecting with people that you know actually sort of just interested in in what we do and we we just don't want to do stuff that's had before you know that makes total sense and your stuff is quite hard to define kind of genre wise it's hard to sort of put into a box (laughs) (laughs) no absolutely that's that's exactly what we go for like we never want the two songs to sound the same and yeah, I think I think it's more of the again on that same point, like trusting your gut and just going, you know, th- throwing something at the wall and seeing what sticks. And it's got a really heavy vibe. I feel like that is your vibe at the moment. And do you think that that is resonating with people for a particular reason right now? I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of anger in the world for sure yeah. at the minute. I mean, it is the craziest time to be alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this kind of sort of millennial, sort of in between millennial Gen Z sort of sure era where you, where you just don't feel like you belong almost it's yeah, it's a very very strange very strange time to be alive mm-hmm. so i think yeah where, whatever your outlet may be heavy music's probably quite a quite a healthy one heavy music's just That's sick right. yeah like, yeah you know, so. yeah I totally believe that and I, I really hate when people try and scapegoat it say that it's bad or that it's this it's oh, going to yeah. corrupt the youth and so what, who would you say is your biggest musical inspirations because I was trying to like preempt what you might say and I just can't so who are your biggest for me probably My Chemical Romance cool um, yeah um, I mean that's about it <laughs> <laughs> no um, I, there's, there's so many there's so many you know yeah. I mean you're big on the Phoebe Bridges vibe at the moment, Phoebe you? Bridges boy yeah. Jesus yeah yeah adore them so much yeah literally I mean there's so much but... I mean yeah, for me, it probably like Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. Uh, placebo. And there's an artist called Eden who does like really ambient, ethereal stuff. Yeah. Probably massive influences on songwriting and production as well, I'd say. Also, um, just like classic rock, though. Like Bon Jovi, ACDC, Scorpions, fucking. Yeah. Like, so sick. <laughs> it's like. I think we, we we came up in the, in, in sort of the punk scene. That's, that's kind of where we, where we cut our teeth. In, in, in the music industry and it was yeah li- literally just that attitude of just not giving a fuck and yeah. doing your own thing and like literally just carving out your own scene is exactly I went through a good year of just listening to Black Flags <laughs> <laughs> oh cool 
I saw my friend the other day wearing a really cool black flag t-shirt, nice. but he was really badly sunburned. So it was just like red face. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really nice pale blue one, but I spilt like a whole pint of Guinness on it. And I, <laughs> I, I just could never get it out. I don't know where that shirt is now. But oh. Hopefully someone's cleaned it. <laughs> All those influences make total sense now that you've said them. I feel like Phoebe Bridgers is, is really heavy in her own way as well. Oh, big time. Yeah, I was saying like we, we did an interview, I think a download or just before download. And someone was like, who would you like to see who'd be like an oddball? And I was like, I actually think Phoebe Bridges would crush it at download. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like I think yeah. people would eat it up. Amazing. I love her. Are you going to see Boy Genius? I'm going to try. So hard. <laughs> the supports as well, Muna and uh, Ethel Kane. Yeah. Like that's, that's like a dream. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really going to try. I'm going to Hit up, hit up my, my Live Nation buddies. <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt this broadcast to bring you Spellcast, your weekly astrological guide. So ever since the sun shifted into Leo, main character vibes have never been stronger and Venus is currently retrograding through Leo and everyone's been prioritising focusing on their personal wants, needs and desires. Hashtag self-care and your desire to be seen and appreciated has been far more demanding than usual. But as this full moon, the first of two in August, unfolds on the first of August, and people will be less concerned with being in the limelight and more focused on embracing what makes you stand out from the crowd. So while Leo season has plenty of emphasis on external validation, the spiritual meaning of August 2023 is calling for you to show love to the parts of you that challenge the status quo. So this full moon will be in the fixed air sign of Aquarius, shedding light on your innovative thoughts, perspectives and the way that you challenge traditional ways of existing. So worrying too much about how you're received by the world will limit this. This full moon will seek to liberate everyone from caring too much about what other people think. So be your authentic self. What a synchronised reading given the band that I'm interviewing this week. And now back to my chat with Crash Face. I also really like how you talked about, well, on your press release, you said, don't steal my joy <laughs> on the PR for, for no hands. Do you want to elaborate on that? That was, again, it, it was more so coming back to the trust in your gut thing. It was, oh. you know. If you can't tell we had a really bad experience. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, yeah, it was basically just like, you know, don't, don't try and take away what I enjoy about this just to just because you think it's going to make like us more successful mm -hmm. or like, you know more appealing it's like mm -hmm. you know it's, like i said previously as soon as you start going down that route like all the all the fun slowly just gets like sucked out of it so, yeah absolutely yeah it, it was more so of just like yo at the end of the day these are our fucking songs so like back off mm. yeah. i hear you <laughs> and when you play live do you have like you have other musicians right so are they like session players yeah well regular drummer tom shrimpton he he drums in a million bands yeah okay. but uh, i basically met him at university and i recorded his math rock project like two albums like four eps or something so i'm slowly reclaiming those favors and that's why he drums for us <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then on, on on guitar we've got we've got max cahill from brighton she's uh, she's amazing she plays in the uh, ramona's the uh oh cool i've yeah, seen them yeah. yeah she's great and then uh, occasionally we have our friend kyle step in as well who yeah. we were in a band with back in uni so yeah yeah we, we got a good good roster I, i'd say yeah it's just that it's, always, it's always nice to have not not the same lineup I'd yeah. say because it's, I mean, mainly due to availability, but it's yeah. also yeah, for like, sure. it's a great excuse to, to have great fun with your friends. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great. Because you come from quite different sort of musical backgrounds, don't you? Like, are you more on the kind of electronic side, Otto? Is that right? Well, I, I've i been doing production since, uh, I don't know, like 2015 or something, like just recording really shitty demos in my bedroom and covering yeah. like, rock songs. <laughs> yeah but from, yeah from, from there it's it's kind of it's grown and yeah it's just, as soon as I got more into pro tools and like really learned how to 
just become a, a producer, mainly thanks to Reese May, actually, our, our mixy engineer. Big up Reese. Uh, yeah, big up Reese. He's just getting married, actually. So happy wedding, Reese. Happy um, wedding. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's just trying to just be as experimental and as, as bold as I can, really. Cool. Yeah, that's great. And you mentioned like Nine Inch Nails and stuff like that. Um... I am the budget Trent Reznor. Yes. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I saw them a long time ago and they just came out with laptops oh and everyone was like, what? <laughs> Sounds like auto, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, literally, yeah, I mean, seeing Nine Inch Nails live last year was just, uh, honestly, it was unholy. It, it was, yeah. I, I became a demon. It was Im like just unreal. I, I cannot put into words how happy I was and oh. drunk. Very <laughs> But yeah, it was great fun. Great fun. Yeah. He's a really good example as well of someone that does what he wants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to do anything kind of contrived or anything. He's super... No, yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, it, it, if, if, if you listen to like the, the Ghost album. Yeah. Um, by, like Trevor Reznor, Atticus Ross and all that and all the film scores they do. It's just like the, the music's so beautiful and yeah. like, inherently atmospheric, which is definitely... A route that I really want to, you know, go down at some point. Yeah, that's cool. So, are you a bit of a geek uh, around gear? I, I love, I love nerding out on on music stuff. In terms of like guitar amps and all that, not not so much. But you know, if you put me in front of a massive rack of analog gear, I will sit there and twiddle knobs till till the sun comes up. Really, I'm okay. the complete opposite. I have no idea what the fuck anything does. <laughs> <laughs> I just go off. I, I I go by looks. If it looks cool, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll I'll take it. Yeah. Cool. Sound. Well, I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would be your your dream gig to as as in like a support slot? Who would you love to support? What is the dream? My cam. My cam. Yeah, my cam for sure. <laughs> literally there I, I mean we we saw him at milton keynes last year and there oh, yeah. it was something else you know i you got to see my cam when when you were younger yeah I, they, I they, never did. they were my my first my first ever gig it was their world contamination tour with the arena i think it was like 2012 and it just blew my mind yeah <laughs> yeah they're real. They're really. They're not going anywhere. I love that. Like I think a lot of people thought a lot of that stuff was a bit sort of seen flash in the pan, but like they're not going anywhere. They are playing the Milton Keynes Ball. There. Oh mate, drop the album. Yeah, <laughs> drop the album. Even just another single. It's been over a year since Foundations. Yeah. That was me. Mm. What are your thoughts on the Blink One Eight Two tour at the moment? This so world cool. tour. I'll definitely try. Yeah, I'll definitely try. Um, I mean, we played with Kenny Hoopla last year, who's uh, currently sporting in the US. Oh, cool, uh, yeah. Which is wild. So, like, so happy for them. And mm. they're, he, he works with Travis Barker as well. Yeah. So it's a really good fit. And, yeah, honestly, like, I, I just hope they're having the best time on that tour. Plus, as, like, as talented as Travis and Mark are, like, Tom is blink. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, it's like I was so happy when I saw them at that video at Coachella, just completely singing out of tune, <laughs> playing the wrong stuff on the guitar, but it's it's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and the fans were loving it. They were like, "We don't care." He do. does not care, which I love yeah. so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's yeah, I have to go. It's really soon, actually. I really have to go. Yeah, yeah. Where, 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 when are the UK days? I, I remember seeing it, it's like in my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go to the Glasgow Hydro one. Um, nice. I'm actually going to see The Who at Edinburgh Castle. Sick. Oh, wicked. In a couple of weeks. So that is going to be off the scale. I'm really excited about that. Have you got any big shows coming up that you're excited about? I'm going to, well, tonight, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to go see Arctic Monkeys at the Emirates. Oh, amazing. The, the, yeah. The Mars Volta. And he's gonna go oh see my him. god, I've seen them a good few times. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's gonna be wet. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, we got a good night. Yeah, man. That's awesome. And what's your next show? When is that? Well, TBC. Yeah. TBC. We're, 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 
we're we're working on a few things at the minute and just trying to yeah I'm currently just trying to write for the next chapter mainly mm. but yeah no it's yeah just really want to get back out on the road as soon as possible i'll it's be just... i'll be doing a a guest vocal feature for pitch shifter the 2000 trees if anyone's coming along i will be a chauffeur come and say hi fantastic sick <laughs> i love those guys so. it sounds like you you write a lot you're one of these artists that's always writing more than anything to yeah say. yeah i mean we, we go through like hot and cold months where some months yeah. will be sort of you know one idea that we really like and then other months will be like 20 yeah <laughs> and then you're just like which one's the next one we've oh, literally no, no, no. been writing one this morning yeah and it's Ooh. so stupid <laughs> I literally just like really heavy breakdown. I'm just like Charlie, Charlie, let just think cowboy. Yeah. And now it's <laughs> some cowboy in there. We're gonna go back and we're gonna finish it after this. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get in the way of your next big. No, you're fine. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Is there anything else that you would like to to plug? I mean, if you could buy some merch, that'd be sick. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, um, no, no, not you. <laughs> but, I mean, if you want, but you know. <laughs> For those listening, yeah. <laughs> cool. You, you wanna you wanna help us out? That'd be sick. Yeah, no, we're we're just trying to follow us on Twitter, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, follow No Context Hinton uh, on Twitter. Is that a thing? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> it, it will be. It will be after this. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna post random Charlie quotes. Do we need Brilliant. anything else? Crashface? Stream Crashface. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yes. Let's get, let's get those numbers up. Yeah, man. Those rookie numbers. Yeah, yeah. Get, get those numbers up. <laughs> I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having Thank us. you. Thanks so much. It was really great to chat to you. And yeah, I will see you at one of your shows. At one you're of them, yes. Yeah. Yeah. country I'm in. We will, we will yeah. play some more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we got, yeah, a, a few things that are sort of in the process of being confirmed. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Sounds yeah. great. I'm waiting for that My Kim announcement. <laughs> yeah, that's one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Heard oh, yeah. it here first. <laughs> Yeah, Crash Base are a great example of a real upcoming band who are making waves in all the right places and doing it in an authentic way. I love that they are all about trusting your gut, doing what you want to do and carving out your own creative space. They are absolutely right. It's a crazy time to be alive. So now is the time to be more authentic than ever. Also, their influences are literally like my Spotify history, whether it's Nine Inch Nails, Blink 182, Placebo, and of course, Phoebe Bridgers. We got a lot in common. So look out for them on tour very, very soon. This podcast has been presented and produced by me, Carolyn King. Come and find me on Instagram at Carolyn L. King. Follow the pod at Songs or Spells Podcast. Find us on TikTok at Songs or Spells. Look out for Tarot Friday every Friday. And come join the Patreon community if you want to delve deeper. The link is in the bio and the show notes. I'll see you next week.